part of what we're doing here is how do we increase and hold the frequency of light or love that we have so that it keeps growing in such a way that when things happen that are disturbing on the outside, it doesn't just go away. Okay. And um, the qualities that I have on the syllabus of light figures that I think are important to just reflect on are love, empowerment, which is self-empowerment, not power in the way that we have learned to associate with that word. Empathy, neutrality, compassion, and vision. So we start with the process of reflecting, asking students to reflect through their life about who has influenced them in a positive way. Like who has mirrored something to yourself, about yourself, that makes you believe in yourself, that makes you trust yourself, that allows you to feel uh, like you're a worthwhile person, a worthy person. And so we start there, like, you know, was it somebody in your family, was it a teacher, who was it? And then we look at people that have um, existed throughout history and who are currently alive, and who people you know, might consider their heroes or their heroines. And why is that? What does it inspire in you? What does it wake up in you? Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, I ask that people not try to think about who, who their light figure is, a mentor for the quarter who will come and be with you and who you can actually have a dialogue with internally. Um, but to more put out a call. It's like, um, in sincerely, as sincerely as you can, who would really be of benefit to me? Who would mm -hmm. I be inspired by? Mm -hmm. Who would be the best person who could help me wake up what is already there, but not as um, full as it could be? And so um, in this process during the quarter, we're doing a lot of other work, but in this process, this mm -hmm. relationship is growing and leading toward what we do in final presentations are embodiments. So it isn't about acting. It is not coming in and acting like, you know, um, doing a play of that person. It is really, uh, again, and I ask that people do this sincerely, to really uh, call before they actually enter the room, to really call for that person to come through them and to say whatever it is that might be of benefit. And so I don't want people to have a script and uh, nobody can read anything. So it's about really coming unprepared in that way and allowing for something to happen. So it's kind of like you know jumping off a cliff or like Jonathan Livingston Seagull. You really kind of have to let go of how you may have prepared for things.